Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chetan Snowy and today we're gonna review the Ultimate Nougat S8 Plus Sport version 2 and I know what you're thinking another ROM, another S8 port but believe me, this is one of the good ones and the ROM looks like the S8 entirely and even has that S8 live wallpaper where the background particles move along with your swipe gestures and all so it looks a lot like the S8 and I really like that because of its simplicity and its elegance and the most amazing thing that happened in this ROM was that I was able to make the Bixby voice working in this ROM and I know it worked before also but after the Bixby homes update the Bixby voice act has been removed over here and we couldn't call the Bixby voice anymore but that's where the button mapper comes in I have set it to open Bixby voice when I hold down the volume down key so as you can see it is working the Bixby voice and what you have to do is you have to go in button mapper after you have obviously set up the Bixby voice which some ROMs does not support till now and go into the volume buttons and as you can see you have the volume down and long press I have set to assistant and when you first open it you know hold down to the volume down it will ask you for the Bixby or the Google I have selected it to Bixby and now it works perfectly so that is really great about this ROM the Bixby voice is finally working so let me show you that it actually is working set an alarm for 9 a.m. tomorrow so as you can see it has been set so that is really great and with that there's only one problem left that the Bixby voice wake up is not working so let me show you that that it actually is not working hi Bixby hi Bixby so as you can see it is not actually working the ROM you can say is fairly fast and and I have used the thing that I always recommend which is going into the developers options and going down to the window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale and setting them down to 0.5x and it makes the ROM feels much faster than at than it actually is so it creates a good experience for you and the ROM feels so much faster into the app draw with this easy gesture that I really come to love and you have the normal Samsung application which I really appreciate some people do not like these applications but I really do love this Samsung's applications they are very easy to use and the camera app is from the S8 and the Bixby Vision is sadly not working after the update when you first use the Bixby Vision it asks you for the update and when you update it, it just doesn't work anymore and the sticker face does not seem to work too so that is that but the camera application comes with ton of camera modes so these are pre-installed and there are many over here coming out of the camera application you have the secure folder you have the secure folder applications but when you first use it or whenever you use it I feel it slows down the phone a tiny bit for a second then it just regains its power so you do feel that in secure folder and hey before I forget this is one of the only ROM that I can remember that comes with the volt enabled out of the box so that is really great you do not have to hassle with any other things if you want the volt working but if you are on any other ROM and you want the volt working I've already made a video about it and link to the video will be right over here please do check it out and you will get the working volt it is an easy fix and it is not that hard to do so you can do that the ROM also comes with this uh, multi-user support which I don't think anyone uses anymore and I don't really know why it is here anymore and the ROM struggles with this always on display when you enable it and lock your device so when the always on display has supposedly started and you wake up your device the color goes all weird it uh, it feels inverted colors and it goes really dark so the always on display is not working and it does this weird thing to the phone and to fix that what you have to do is you have to lock your device once again and you know just wake it up and sometimes it doesn't work so it did work this time and if that doesn't work for you what you have to do is just unlock the device if you can see properly and disable the always on display lock the device 
and wake it up once again and it will be fine so the always on display is not working and the ROM comes with this Google Assistant 2 which is a cherry on top of the cake the Google Assistant is really amazing if you actually use it so that is that and moving on to the settings there is nothing special over there normal Samsung settings over here and if we talk about the battery life I have mixed feeling about this battery life because sometimes the ROM gives a great battery life and sometimes it just doesn't and the ROM might give you a whole day of battery life but I doubt it and it might serve you a whole day if you are not a heavy user but if you go a little over the top you will have to top it up in the afternoon or so so that's that but if it doesn't give you a great battery life you have these power saving modes from the Samsung which works wonders I'm telling you these power saving modes are just amazing and one more thing I would like to say is that sometimes the phone feel a little warm to me so I was using this ROM for a continuous period of time and it felt a little bit warm after a while so that was that but I don't really feel the device warm anymore so sometimes that might happen and sometimes it might not so you will just have to deal with it and let's go into about device and you have the model number of the S8 plus over here and you have the device name as the ultimate Nougat S8 plus full port let's go into the software information and here you get to know that it is an actual S8 plus port because you have the Samsung experience version over so that is really great and you have the Android version 7.0 so let's get out and at last I would say that the ROM is really great and I would seriously recommend it to all of you out there this ROM is really stable I have not experienced any problem with this ROM the performance is good the battery life you can say is between okay and good it might serve you a whole day but for the user that that I am I will have to top it up in the afternoon so that is all about this drum so I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to your channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys